brucellosis while running dairy farm there are some major diseases that we should know about and brucellosis is one of them that is found in cattle and buffaloes brucellosis leads to loss in milk production abortion or death of calf in the last trimester retention of placenta reduce fertility and even mastitis this is a disease that gets transmitted to humans from consumption of raw milk of infected animal or through contact with uterine discharges the disease is very much prevalent in india both in humans and animals the symptoms of this disease are abortion or death of the fetus inside the uterus occurs typically after 6 month of pregnancy whenever brucellosis happens in your dairy animal it remains a carrier of the disease throughout its lifetime the mother and calf remain infected hence be careful most of the time we can see retention of placenta in the animals and this may lead to infection so how do you prevent brucellosis from entering your farm to prevent this disease you must vaccinate female cows not male cows between 4 to 8 months of age you will get this vaccination done only once during the lifetime of the animal it should not cost you much but it will help keep your animal safe all throughout its life this is definitely worth the money isn't it if you find any case of abortion in your animals then go for laboratory test go for test even before buying animals if you find the test to be positive then do not purchase such animals learn more about the test later in this chapter any abortion from 6 month onward should be suspected for brucellosis isolate the animals immediately for a minimum of 20 days after calving or abortion the aborted fetus placenta contaminated bedding feed etc should be buried at least 4 feet deep after sprinkling lime these materials contain very high bacterial loads and if you do not dispose them properly then they will cause the spread of disease by contaminating food sources like pasture feed water etc disinfect the shed after isolating the aborted animal when the animal is in isolation disinfect the lossier discharges which also contain high bacterial loads daily with disinfectant recommended by your veterinary doctor or 1 to 2% sodium hydroxide or 5% sodium hypochlorite or bleaching powder solutions till the discharge is stop it usually takes 10 to 20 days for the discharge to stop you should take such animals out of your farm permanently to prevent infection from spreading in your farm since this disease is zoonotic do not handle infected material with bare hands and use full hand gloves this will protect you